NASA is celebrating the end of a historic seven-year mission to bring an asteroid sample to Earth. A capsule carrying it landed yesterday in the Utah desert. This is the first time NASA has ever collected a sample from an asteroid, and it's the largest retrieved from space since the Apollo moon rocks more than 50 years ago. Today, a military jet will fly the material to a specially built lab in Houston. Mark Strassman is on it, and he visited the lab. This moment, seven years in the making. A NASA probe returning to Earth with pieces of an asteroid. A time capsule from the birth of our solar system. It was charred, but it came in at 27,000 miles an hour, so we expected that. Otherwise, it looked perfect. Liftoff of OSIRIS-REx. The OSIRIS-REx mission, an engineering marvel, launched in 2016. Two years later, it caught up with Bennu a near-Earth asteroid the size of the Empire State Building. The spacecraft spent a year and a half mapping Bennu, searching for a safe place to collect a sample. Then finally, dodging boulders, briefly plunged its arm into a small crater. And we have touched <laughs> Like a vacuum cleaner, the spacecraft sucked up asteroid rocks and dust, about a half pound's worth and locked it away for the 1.2 billion mile journey back to Earth. This is the largest sample of extraterrestrial material that will be brought back to Earth since Apollo. Lori Glaze is NASA's head of planetary science. And the challenge is to keep the sample as pristine as possible. We've got to keep that sample uncontaminated by us. To protect the samples, this is the staging area. NASA built an ultra clean, state of the art lab at the Johnson Space Center in Houston. It's the same building that houses the Apollo moon rocks. Deputy curator Christopher Sneeds already imagining opening the Bennu samples in this lab. It's going to be an incredible wow moment. We're going to learn a lot of new things, there are going to be unexpected surprises. Bennu is rich in carbon and could contain the chemical building blocks of life. NASA's new samples, four and a half billion years old, could provide clues about how planets like ours formed. These samples are very small, but they can answer some of the fundamental questions about the formation of our solar system, where the ingredients from life came, and perhaps how common that might be in the universe. Bennu has intrigued NASA for another reason. There's a chance, a remote 1 in 2700 possibility, the asteroid could collide with Earth in the year 2182. It's worth tracking. It's absolutely worth tracking. But not necessarily worrying about it. I wouldn't worry about it. I'm not losing any sleep over it. Okay. okay. <laughs> the better odds. Bennu will tell us more about our solar system's beginnings and how we became us. For CBS Mornings, Mark Strassman in Houston. So much to unpack right there. It's just, it's amazing. I'm still getting over planes taking off yeah. and they're sending stuff into both. space. I'm right there with you. Catching asteroids. <laughs> right. Catching no. the asteroids. Catching them. <laughs>